Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. It's been a couple weeks since we streamed this. I've already warned everybody live that uh, this is probably going to be possibly the winning stream for the achievement, but also possibly the most boring stream you've seen in your entire life. Because it is once again, trekking through Africa. It is also, however, as uh, was pointed out in the chat there, the most inconvenient naval invasion of all time. Because we can't just do it from the naval bases in Normandy and simply, uh, simply, you know, get control over the English Channel, which is one little territory. We can't do that because we're not part of the Axis, so we can't use their ports. We also can't use their air bases, which would be much easier to use paratroopers, but we can't do that because we're not part of the Axis. We have military um, access, so we can march through, but we can't dock our planes in there. As for faction members, we have our own faction. So instead, what we need to do is build a navy. Our navy is very out of date. It is just level one submarines and level one destroyers, which are not good for a naval invasion. And we need to go from, I mean, our closest port to being Greece. We need to go from Greece, Sparta specifically is where that would be. And go all the way around to hit Cornwall, I guess. Uh, that sucks. Now, Gibraltar fell, which is good for us. We have control over Gibraltar, or else that would be a pain. And National Spain is in the Axis. All we need to do is make sure we have enough war score to get at least one piece of Poland before Germany does. And we need a piece out of this war. Thankfully, the uh, American Navy is actually much weaker than I thought it'd be. 30 to 34 ships. Now, we have uh, 78 ships, but they're really old, out-of-date, weak ships that are just mass-produced. Mass so, although we have a much larger navy than theirs, it's also way weaker and can't actually get to the States. None of our ships have enough fuel that they can go all the way to the States and fight on their coast. So, we need better ships before we can do that. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> we can't even reach the United Kingdom with these ships. I, I don't think so, at least. Uh... We can, we can double check here. Uh, we have some station Greece here. Would you be able to reach with convoy raiding? They can! Okay, he actually can uh, reach, which means that he might actually be allowed to dock in German docks. If so, useful, but I'm fairly sure my invasion over the water would still have to start from Greece. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll see. Uh, I really wish I could use my Air Force, because my Air Force is a lot better. But, we, uh, we, we don't have the privilege of being able to use the Air Force for this. So, will we modernize that? Um, God, I want that ship designer. Will we modernize that? We just need to keep fighting in Africa. We need to secure Africa. That'll actually really help us, because not only is it getting resources for our allies, we've unpaused now, by the way, not only is it getting resources for our allies, it's also making it, uh, making the allies have less dockyards they can use to fight us. All right, so we just knocked out all of their dockyards they have in Northern Africa. Now we're going into West Africa here. So we need to knock out all of this. Um, yeah, I would like to... Control right click to- no, I want to select all the people in that order. There we go. And just something simple like that. Just tell them to get aggressive. And then we got people down here. Uh, wow, Free France is really blobbing out here. Could I just slice across that, please? And when you get an opportunity, just do it. And we got this contained. Yeah, cut across like that. And, you know, be aggressive, because clearly you have them outnumbered. Um, right, uh, an, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, some people... I, I've had, like, two people say that... Um, uh, you know what, just move in. You have s they have such low organization. Really? Okay. All right, just keep them contained then. Um, I had a couple of people say that they were having a hard time seeing the game just because um, 
Mostly because the UI is not scaled properly because my monitor is so big and unfortunately this game does not have the best UI scaling. Um, next playthrough I do of this game, I will just make it full screen without my cam and stuff. Because I know like on the poll like 80% of people prefer I have the camera. So I try to always have the camera there. Um, but like with CK2, the UI scaling is just very poor. And I want you to be able to see the game, so... Uh, next playthrough, I will I will do that for you guys. Porygon is is cool for Pokemon. It evolves twice in Gen 4, that is correct. You'll have it be, uh, rewarded well, trust me. Uh, special attack is OP. Um, I don't really need OP shit, though. It's not the most serious playthrough in the world. Alright, let me just cut that off, because they're overextending themselves. You'll notice, by the way, I'm not flying any planes. Um, I just don't want any planes to die. I would gladly be flying planes in Africa right now, if only I had the opportunity. Uh, however, I do not. Alright, do we have enough yet? Yeah, we have way more than enough. Thank you. I just really need that research speed on uh, naval stuff, because we need to start going hardcore into that. And it looks like we have a surplus of military factories again. We probably just took some from an African city. Um, God, we do not need anything. I mean, we could get more motorized rockets. I know that we are trying to get some of them, but we're just stockpiling at this point. We only have light tanks, although it's a level three light tank, which is nice. Um, we do need a bit more artillery. We need a bit more of everything. Just the slightest bit more. Um, hmm. Let's hope we don't need to fight Germany. Fighting Germany is a last resort. We shouldn't need to, because in the peace deals, as long as we have a lot of war contribution, we'll get some of Poland. Worst comes to worst, if we do need to fight Germany, we probably just won't. Uh, at that point, it's just, you already know how to get the achievement, just get a bit more war score than I did. That would literally be the only difference. Um, I think I want... Yeah, I think I actually want to just do a little bit more motorized as our next priority. Oh, and uh, looks like we can get a factory back. Our uh, mass industrialization of our new land with the infrastructure is going very well for getting us a lot of resources. It's nice. And go ahead and make another cutoff like that. Okay, there we go. We're starving them out. And it looks like these guys are getting starved, too. I really want to take that port at some point. Looks like they're dropping some of the people out of there, which is smart. Would it be easier to invade Britain if you went for Ireland first? Get some air bases and naval bases? Possibly. I could invade uh, Ireland and do that. The thing is, if I can invade Ireland, I can invade Britain. Because, like, look at where the naval zones are on them. I could avoid the English Channel by going up here, yeah, but they're also going to be defending this whole area because they know that I could land in Cornwall just from the other side or land in Wales, anything like that. So if I'm able to land in Ireland, I can already land in England and I may as well because once you've made landfall in England, they're fucked. They have a tiny, tiny army. Uh, I've never had them successfully defend against me once I've made landfall. As soon as you make landfall, they crumple. Well, I can one day a destroyer. I think I'm gonna do that. Level two destroyer. No reason not to modernize that, just for more um, defense against subs. Here we go. And battleships are incredible. We're going to need them. Very low supplies. Oh shit. They actually got a surround there. Well, uh, that was due to me not paying attention. I might be able to fight my way through that, but they're probably gonna back them up, and then my. Uh, I'm taking attrition here because I have no supplies, so it's iffy. We'll see what happens there. If I lose the one troop, it's really not a big deal. I'm just gonna try for that. It's very unlikely I'm gonna get that. But, uh,. I'm curious. A little bit more rubber. And steel. To keep those destroyers going. Have you guys 
What, what the fuck happened here? Are you kidding me? Hold on, who owns that? Okay, first of all. You know what I think happened there? This is a really frustrating thing that happens in a few odd bordered areas in this game. There's a chance that uh, when advancing they frontline one place and it doesn't auto frontline the other place that they would have to frontline. And so they just completely forget what they're doing. There's a few places in the game where that happens and it really sucks. One of them is here if you're South Africa and you're tacking up into Portugal here. It often happens at this choke point. Uh, there's a lot of annoying little places where that can happen. Just have that, just so you're getting a planning bonus, because we're not going to tag them for a while, but, you know, just have it ahead of time. And we're really trying to modernize the Navy right now. Yep, we need that. Naval bomber models wouldn't hurt, but also wouldn't help that much. Alright, how's this going? Yeah, you're not winning that. My guy's gonna die there, that's fine. It's one little guy. Oh, and you got stopped, that's fine. Um, they'll blob out a little bit there, but it's not really a big deal. Once we've dealt with all this shit, we can just, you know, mobilize all these guys. I'm sorry, are, do you not have this order? I just clicked you on it, there we go. That was weird. All right. So it's still the slow grind of Africa, everybody. So tell me about your day. What's been going on with everybody? Let's, let's all just chat. Relaxed stream, fun, relaxed stream because God knows nothing eventful is happening this stream. Uh, we already have a good dock in Greece, right? Uh, not really. Um, okay. Beef up that dock so we can get a really big fleet docked right there. Um, we already have defenses there. Good. Uh, do we need... I mean, I, I could just keep getting resources. I may as well. Uh, no one's importing our chromium, are they? <laughs> Fuck no, we have way too much chromium. Yeah, I didn't think so. We pretty much have a world monopoly on that. There we go. We can get a little bit of uh, steel out of that. I always need steel. Get some of Serbia. And this is all in our puppeted territory, isn't it? Battleship level one, sweet. Uh, go straight for battleship two. Battleships are really good and we're going to need them. They're very resource hungry, however. You've been binge watching my Project Zomboid playlist after watching the tip video. Basically all you've been doing today. Well, I hope you're having fun with that. That's a really fun game. What's the game's end date? Uh, I don't believe it actually has one. I've conquered the entire world before and never ran into an end date. Uh, okay, let's just, uh, well, wait, request forces, because you're, you're never going to do anything, so I'm just going to request the forces of all my puppets. There we go, and request forces, there we go. Beautiful. And I do want more excavation, however, uh, navy stuff has to come first. Okay, these are all the new people. There we go. I just assigned them all to our uh, garrison. Just to make sure the coastlines are properly protected. All it takes is one severe naval invasion to really put you on the back foot. So we want to make sure that never ends up happening. Okay, that's already being researched, that's being researched. I wouldn't mind some light cruisers. Uh, 
It is my older sister's birthday today. Well, you can tell her that my dry bread said happy birthday, but she's probably not going to have any idea what the fuck you're talking about. Hey, Germany, you ever want to deal with this? Where the fuck are Germany's troops even? Just on random borders with me. They must just be garrisoned all over. What the fuck are you doing, Germany? Your only front line is Africa. Please go to Africa. Or is or are we having a battle over here? No. Oh, well, Japan is still fighting with the British Raj, which is to be expected. British Raj can do that forever. They have the whole population of India. They're never gonna run out. Um... I probably have a better chance with trade intersection or interdiction than I do fleet in being at this point. Yeah, probably. I'm surprised there aren't more American troops in South Africa right now. No, they're mostly in West Africa. That is a strange decision. What's going on up here? Oh, you have horrific supply. Because Italy refuses to modernize the supply here. Thanks, Italy. Uh, see, this this is what really sucks, is this land isn't going to me. And so, I normally, if this land was going to me, I'd just be building a railroad as I go. I'd be uh, modernizing all the infrastructure. But I cannot. Am I not fascist? No, we actually need to hold a referendum. Yeah, so one thing you need to really be uh, careful about. Yeah, we need to wait until we have enough for... Yeah, we're not going to be able to stop the fascist um, uprising at this point. So what we need to do is build up enough political power that we can immediately take a demagogue and then do a national referendum. Because as it stands, there's a chance of a civil war, and if a civil war happens, our army's cut in half. Even if we win the civil war, the army will still be cut in half after, like, we're not getting those troops back. So we cannot afford a civil war. Alright, go straight to Battleship 3. Wait, how long did France take to surrender? Oh, like two weeks is the usual. They get rocked pretty hard at the start of the war. Alright, just modernizing all that industry. And then it's back to dockyards. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dockyards. I'm with this. Why did we get... Oh, we must have been... Oh, we're training a paratroopers. Okay. Just in case we end up needing them. Submarine level 2. Sweet. Go straight on to 3. Submarines have a really good range. Why not declare war in Italy and take their land? That is a fucking horrific idea. <laughs> Oh my god, why would I want to go to war with the Axis right now? We just... I don't think the path to a peace deal in which I get part of Poland right now is be at war with the Axis and the Allies in unison. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, well, we contained them. Uh, yeah, they're kind of crumpling in Africa. <laughs> King numbers. I didn't realize no they were in a faction. I feel fucking dumb. <laughs> of course Italy's in the Axis. This is, uh, this is a historical playthrough. Just like in actual history, Romania conquered Russia. Clearly you need to open history book. Alright, um... 
none of these things are immediately anything I need. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and say naval production, dockyard output up 20% is really nice right now. I'm just gonna give you guys that order just so you can start getting a planning bonus on taking that city. They don't even have a dock in that city. How are they getting more troops there? Did they naval invade their own place? Because that is one way of doing that. It's kind of funny that they call that an invasion, but you know. Yeah, they're still blobbing out a bit. Could I get away with? Not really. Whenever I have people left over here, they're gonna just... Please go in and just stomp that already. There's, they have no organization. Like, I know we barely have any, but just fucking hit it. I know you'll take some losses, but you're taking losses sitting there. All right, we have the bonus on Marines. We'll probably need some of them. And we will need to actually do the naval invasion research, which we don't have yet. Because, you know, we've never needed a Navy before this. What the fuck? American flag, I zoom in, there are only Brits here. Oh, no, no, there are a few Americans in here, but the, the flag shows overall is British. Weird. All right, just, no, no, you can't pull that off? Really? Okay. Stop that. Uh, delete that order, in fact. Just so I can tell everybody to, you know, go on with the other orders, at least. And go ahead and just... do that order. There we go. Get really aggressive there. Oh god, that's a big, ugly surround right there. Um, mm. God, am I really going to have to pull back some of these guys right now? All right. <laughs> Someone is stuck in that, I think. Some enemy. All right. Do that. And it's a very long path, but they can go around that way and just help contain it in the future. The tanks are finishing this off. There's basically nothing else there. The border gore is awful in Africa. The whole war in Africa is really bad, especially if you don't have logistics company. And we do not have a logistics company. Okay, we have conquered all of that. Beautiful. Which means I'm going to frontline uh, my tanks in uh, South Africa. And get ready for that final push. Okay, um... Ooh, they're really hurting down here. Beautiful. There was someone who's gonna- something I was gonna say earlier, but I'm, I'm blanking on what now. Um, hey, no one's defending this. Would you just walk in? Because if I can uh, shorten that front line a little bit, I'd like to. Speaking of front line, fuck happened here. Thank you. Ah, oh, good god. Oh, hey, look, a German tank finally showed up. Hey, you want to, like, march and break through that real quick for me, tank? So that we're getting supply again? Or are you just going to sit there and let us all die? Fuck's sake. Okay, they have, like, nothing there. There! Finally! Fucking finally! They're gonna just do that. Thank you. you. Can finally just take that port. What the fuck? Uh, we're never gonna need a military theorist, are we? I don't really need either of these. Yeah, we're never gonna have any problem with army experience.
Germany, what the fuck? I didn't even see their tank anymore. There we go, we finally took that stupid port. Now we're getting supplied by the sea. Light cruiser, beautiful, get me a better one. How's the building going? We're almost done all that infrastructure. Hey, we can get a factory back on steel again, or from steel. Did you get the demagogue? Uh, no, but it's it's looking like we can afford to do this now. So I'm gonna get rid of my uh, my backroom backstabber. Switch out to, oh God, right. We can't switch to the demagogue unless we have an appointed pro-axis government. Okay, here's what we do. We've banned fascism, which I would really like to unban. <laughs> Uh, God, did I fuck this? I'm not entirely sure if we did or didn't. Um, so here's the thing. I want to open political discourse at this point and just switch to being fascist, but I believe you ban fascism. You can't do that. I may have fucked myself here. Um, well, best case scenario then is just fight it as hard as we can with anti-fascist raids and press censorship. Might be bad. Well, worst case scenario, you guys know where I went wrong, so at least there's that. And unfortunately, there's no monarchist, a staunch monarchist political advisor for Romania, which is a real shame, because a lot of countries have that, and it's quite good in these cases. I know that, um, for instance, Hungary can get a staunch monarchist. All right, it looks like our uh, our backup from the north is finally arriving. Let's go across like that. Just take the unoccupied land. And we do have motorized with the rockets. No, we don't. I'd like to start putting rocket artillery in there. Like that. Um, do we have enough for that? We do, just barely. Oh, we don't even have support artillery in that? We can definitely afford to do that. There we go. That'll really beef up the breakthrough of our motorized divisions. Yeah, we'll never be able to nuke the UK. That's just not happening. We wouldn't have them within, uh, within our air force's range. Ooh, that's not happening. You're a bit more defensive than I thought you'd be. Hey, take Central Congo if you can. And the tanks. You guys are mostly in position? Oh shit, they've actually pushed out a little bit. Okay. Let's let's cut that off. I don't want that getting out of control. I, I don't want them getting that city and stuff. Because I actually had them cut off in a nice little area here. But unfortunately... Sorry, are you attacking? Why are you attacking? I do not want you to attack here. Uh, right, I probably shouldn't have made that order in the first place. There we go. Yeah, that's probably what fucked up the front line in the first place, is my guy's lost organization trying to attack and they counterattacked and took some land. That was stupid. That's on me though. I didn't do those orders very well. Oh, no, I remember what I was going to say. Is, uh, is Hey Hey Bay still in the chat? Just uh, say something if you're still there. I don't know if you're listening to this in the background. Attenzione. All right, we're almost done with West Africa. Oh, hey, sweet, you're here. Um, wow, very little delay today uh, in the stream. That's nice. Happy that they finally fixed that after all these years. Uh, I was just gonna say that, uh, we need to stream together sometime. That'd be fun. Uh, for anyone doesn't know, uh, hey Abe is a fellow mod over on the Geek Remix Discord server. And, uh, her streams are really fun, so we gotta stream together sometime. Everybody go follow her on, uh, if you like Overwatch, then follow her on, st on Twitch. I am said Steam. Right now you can see her name in the chat there. Just click her and follow her. And, uh, her streams are really good. They're fun. All right, uh, landing craft. 
keep beefing that up. Our ability to naval invade. Because we're going to need that in the future. Nope, that's not happening. I thought that was undefended. Nope, I just wasn't zoomed in enough for Africa. Okay. Um, they're still piling people there. That's fine, I guess. Alright, no one's defending that part, so just drive in. 